The last time I saw John was in 2009, the day that he got arrested. Me and John, uh, our families have known each other since we were little kids. We started dating, which was six years prior to the incident that happened in 2009. So we had two children together and he treated my oldest daughter like his own. The day of the incident, I was working. John had watched the girls that day. I come in at 7.30, it was dark in my house. I figured the girls were all in bed, it was quiet. I said, hello, nobody answered. I went into my daughter's room and found John. He was sitting on the bed with his laptop in his lap. My oldest daughter was sitting next to him, giving oral to him while my other two children were on the floor watching. And I asked him what the hell he was doing. Uh, I started crying. Um, my children freaked out because they weren't expecting mom to come in. John swears he didn't molest my daughter. He claims that he was just pleasuring himself, but I know what I saw. I ended up calling the police department. In the process of calling the police department, he was calling his father, um, who in turn showed up after the police were there. And his father looked at me and said, oh, he can just move out and get help and move back in that he didn't believe his son did what he did. I walked in on it being, being performed. The fact that now he's trying to prove his innocence is a joke. After uh, the police arrested John, they confiscated his laptop and they found out that was child porn on his laptop, which in turn, now he's accusing me of planting that child porn on his laptop. John was sentenced to six years in prison, probation, and he's on the sex offender list. To me, that's not enough. Any person that hurts a child should get more than what he got. It's, it was a slap on the wrist. 14 years now, I've been dealing with the backlash of what John did to my children, but now it's being relived. Oh, you lied about this, you did this, and the fact that his parents still believe their son didn't do it, he didn't do it, he didn't do it. To me, you know, he's guilty. His parents are still involved in the girls' lives. Periodically, they've written letters to John that the grandparents have mailed out, which we've brought that up in court, and they were told that they weren't allowed to do it. There was times where secret gifts were given to my girls from their father, and their, their grandparents were told to tell it was from them. My middle daughter was caught talking to her father via text message. It, it really pissed me off. I told his parents I didn't want any communication from John to my kids, and to me, his parents took my trust and flushed it down the toilet. They did this anyway and said, oh, told my kids, don't tell mama this is happening. Don't tell mama this is happening. And after this is all said and done, I'm cutting ties with his family. I'm cutting ties with him. There's to be no communication. This is, this is the last straw for me. The damage that Don has done has put us all in traumatic stages. I watch my children cry every single day. Why did he do it? Why did he do it? 14 years of seeing them cry is, it makes me cry. Just the other day, my oldest, I told her what was going on, and she cried. From day one, this mom has protected her kids, and I'm gonna to continue to do it. And I'll go through hoops and hoops and hoops to sit there and prove that mom's not lying, John is. So John, you have to spend the rest of your life as a registered sex offender. And then there's all kind of restrictions and conditions, what you can do, where you can be, who you can see. It's gotta be a tough way to live your life. Did you? Molest a girl, did you download porn? No, I did not. To I would, neither one? I would never hurt the girls. No. Now, the girl that you're accused of is a daughter that Sherry had from a previous relation. I, I was in the bedroom, and yes, I was watching porn, adult porn, and I was doing adult things when she walked in. You were taking when, care of yourself? Yes. Okay. Were the kids in the room? No, they were not. Kids weren't in the room? No. Okay, so then Sherry walks in? My father, yes, my father brought her home early from work and he was a witness to this. Um, Your dad walked in on you too? He, he, no, he walked her into the apartment. Okay. You didn't think that was like not a good idea when you were doing it? Like, oh, my kids are in the next room? I did. Um, I also had some other issues. I was into drugs and alcohol back then. So were you intoxicated making when this was happening? Bad choices. Was this happening at the time? I was drugs not, or alcohol? I, yeah, but I was not intoxicated at the time. Were you drinking? No. Were you high? No. 
So what are you bringing up drugs and alcohol for? I, I, I just always made bad choices. It sounds like you're, you're throwing stuff out there to make an no, excuse. No, I'm not trying to make excuses. Well, the so police what? said they did find child porn on your la laptop. I honestly don't know where that came from. I was using a file sharing. I was using a file sharing network called LimeWire. Five other people had also used my laptop. Where? At the house. You let people come in and use Sherry your laptop. Sherry used it. Her mother used it. Her ex-boyfriend okay, used so it. Okay, so these, her ex-boyfriend? Yes, because she you let use an ex-boyfriend use the She still had it. contact with him. I figured these people would be okay because they were like Even friends. Even the ex-boyfriend? Really? I should have thought twice on that. We fought it all the way up until trial, until the judge kind of put a scare into me and said that if they felt I was guilty, they would give me no less than 20. And I said, I am not going to do 20 years or more for something I didn't do. Don't you and your lawyer say, I didn't do anything wrong. And if there's no evidence other than your wife's testimony, and your dad was there, couldn't he have backed up the story? Like they wouldn't let him testify. They said, he's my father. He would lie for me. That's They honestly did. OK, well. And he's one. Any contact with your kids during those five years? During those five years? Yeah. I got a couple things, like Sherry said, and what, what did you get? A couple little letters, but from your kids. they stopped. You ruined Stop my being life. The I know what I walked in on 14 yeah, years ago. You ruined ago. my life. No, I didn't. You ruined your own life. No, I did not. I didn't do anything. Yeah, to you them. did. I know what I saw. What did you see? I walked into my daughter's room at 7:30 at night. A coworker yeah. brought me home. The house was dark. I walked into it wasn't, my... It wasn't his dad? No, it yes, was a co-worker. Because I got to work at 7.30, and I was home five minutes later. Because my father even said no, that you got... it was a co-worker. That he picked you up early. It was a co-worker, because she went to go in to say goodnight okay, to so them. Okay, so you walk in, and what happened? They were in my girl's room, bottom bunk, him sitting on one side with the laptop That's facing him. Bull. My daughter, my daughter, giving him oral with his two children and on the floor bull. watching it. You caught your daughter yes. giving oral that sex? That is bull. No, it's not. Okay. She's how old at the time? She was six. Hi, I'm John's father. On the day this incident took place, I had given Sherry a ride home from work. When we got to the house, the kids were on the couch, and she asked where their father was, and they said he was in the bedroom. I just feel he was totally set up. So you called the police, and what happened? They came, they arrested him, they took his laptop, and they left the apartment. They didn't talk to When him. did you find out about the child porn? The very next day. The cops told you? So after this, he gets arrested. How, uh, how you know, and you say the other two little girls, his two little girls, are in the room watching this? Yep. How did this affect your daughters? They're traumatized. They've had to have counseling. They have been PTSD. They have, no, they have anxiety, depression. How are they now? They're... It's, it's hard. There's our ups and there's downs. Yeah. They're struggling. Did they ever ask about their dad? My middle one does. For the longest time, she said that it was mama's fault that dad got arrested. And I told her when she turned 18, if she wanted to talk to him, that was fine. But I'm not stopping her now from talking to him. So, Helen, you don't believe your son did this? No, I don't. Okay. When he gets locked up, he must say, hey, mom, this is going on, right? Yeah. Did you say, well, son, if you didn't do it, we need to fight this tooth and nail? Well, that's what we did, but like he said, when he went to court, the court, the judge and his um, attorney. attorney had said to him, well, you know, you could, if you go to, to a trial, if you, you if you're could found guilty. spend 20 to 30 years. But that's years. everybody that goes to trial. That's everybody that's in court. If you're found guilty, yes, you are going to be slammed with a, a sentence. But if you're found innocent... You walk out the courtroom. I do have empathy for you because it's, as a parent myself, it's got to be horrible if your kid does something terrible, especially your son if he commits a crime against a child. Well, it's even harder because when she first let him come over, I had to have no pictures of him up and around. When's the last time you saw but your grandkids? God, I don't remember now. Years? It's been a while. 
Five years? June of last year, um, your granddaughter's high school graduation. Nice try. Yeah, that's right. No, I, I didn't remember. You I'm have sorry. to think of that. You have to think of the last time you saw your grandkids. That yes. tells you a lot. I mean, you'd have to be really evil to send a guy to prison for five years and yes. totally destroy his life yeah. just because you wanted him out of the picture. Evil's not the word. What is the word? Monster. Monster. Your son's the monster. Well, Sherry the monster came and took a lot to talk to us. I'm just being facetious. No, I <laughs> Sherry, we asked you, did you truly walk in on John and observe him engaging in a sexual act with your oldest daughter? She answered yes. Do you know for sure that someone besides John downloaded the pornographic images of minors on the laptop? She answered no. Did you fabricate the story that you walked in on John and observed him sexually abusing your oldest daughter? You answered no. The results came back the same to each one of those three questions, and it came back that Sherry told the truth. <laughs> okay, so we broke your lie detector test down the two parts, the porn and the abuse. Uh, first, we're gonna cover the porn. As an adult, have you ever intentionally viewed any child pornographic images or materials which depicted children engaged in sexual acts? You answered no. Did you ever watch inappropriate sexually explicit videos or films with Sherry's daughter in any room of your house at any time? You answered no. Have you ever downloaded off the internet underage child pornographic images of any kind as an adult? You answered no. Results came back all the same to each one of those three questions. And it came back that John did not tell the truth. Oh. So then we go on to ask him about the abuse. Did you at any time inappropriately touch either of your own daughters for your own sexual gratification and pleasures? He answered no. He told the truth. Yeah, it was my daughter. My daughter you did it to. Did you ever have Sherry's daughter perform any physical sexual act on you at any time while she was in your care? He answered no, and he did not tell the truth. That's it. Your pants. Hey, there you was took proof. out of the dirty laundry. Yeah, no. Because nice when I left prison, nice I was try. wearing. Yes. What did they find? My daughter's DNA on the of his pants. On, no, on the thigh of the pants. No, out it of, was out of pants that they took from the dirty laundry that was mixed with everyone's friggin' clothes. So why didn't everybody? Uh, wait, wait, wait. You went to prison already, John. I never did it. Hey, John, you went to prison already. All right. You did five years of prison. Yeah, I you're never a sex offender for the rest of your life. You're living in your car. You, you know, you're a sick Okay? That's what it comes down to. That's what it comes down to, let John. Me go. You failed your lie detector test. Please, just you let gotta me live go. with the fact. You got to live with the fact that you did this. But you did your time in jail. You got five years. You're lucky you only got five. You're lucky that bad things didn't happen for your prison. But you know what? You screwed up your whole life because you're a sick dude. No, I never and, touched and you're her. You're never, never going to join, and you're probably it. never going to see your daughters again. So, you know what? Let them go. Get the out of here. Live your life. Never touched her. I understand it's hard, but you better wake up. Because if you don't, you keep telling, oh, John, you didn't do this, you didn't do this. It's possible you could do it again. Now, knowing everything you've been through, through the trial, through the pleading guilty, through the five years of writing them letters in jail, visiting them and all that, and being here today, passing for not abusing your granddaughters, but failing to abusing her daughter, did John do it? I don't know, I'm gonna have a long talk with him. Talking's right. Find not out. gonna help, he did right. it. Thanks for being on the show, take care. Well, it, it's his opportunity for you to say, hey, I didn't do this. Uh, thanks for coming on. Good luck to you and your daughter. Thank you. Thank you. I've watched this show for years. You can't lie to the lie detector test. I just still can't believe you'd do something like that.
Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilkos.com to get my help.